Hey you guys, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with MLB 2K12 in my player mode with Timmy Timmons. Now I'm back in full swing, I'm feeling good. I just wanted to catch you guys up on what has been going on here in this video, um, as well as go over some other things with you here. Because uh, you guys, a lot of you actually went and saw the last Timmy Timmons video that I did where I had let you guys know that my wife's and I dog passed away. Now, Zoe was very special for us because, you know, my wife and I don't have any children, and Zoe was the closest thing we had to a child. You know, we would take care of her, and she really meant a lot to us. Now, with Zoe being the first dog I've ever had in my life, there's been a lot of surprises uh, after she's passed here. One, I, I didn't expect to feel regret like I would when a person dies. You know, because with Zoe, I'm like, maybe I should have played ball with her a little bit more, spent some more time with Zoe, I shouldn't have been mad at her at certain points, especially when we first got her. Um, so that was a surprise. And then on the flip side, I'm just absolutely amazed that I could love a dog as much as I do. Uh, you know, I had heard things about dogs and what it's like to, to have them, and I didn't understand here until now. So because this was my first dog, my, my wife, uh, she had had dogs before that she had lost, and while this still wasn't easy for her, you know, she kind of had an idea of, of what it felt like. Uh, she had some memories that she could fall back on from other dogs, things like that. Um, I didn't have that. So when I went ahead and I posted on YouTube, you know, what had happened here and everything, I really did feel alone because my wife, you know, yeah, while, well, yes, she had lost a dog for the first time, you know, she wasn't my age, you know, where you kind of understand what's going on a lot more and things like that. Um, but... The thing was, and this was surprising also about everything, is I felt a lot of comfort because of what a lot of you had written on uh, that particular video in the comments. A lot of you shared experiences when you had a pet die, maybe it was your first pet also, and I read those. And that gave me comfort here, just knowing that I'm really not alone in the way that I feel. So, uh, you know, I, t I tell people when I... I do commentaries, they ask me, you know, what do I like about it? Uh, one of the first things I always bring up is you guys. You know, I, I really believe that I have, you know, among some of the best viewers who come across this channel, you guys are great people. Uh, I will uh, defend that to my last dying breath. I mean, you guys are just awesome. Like, I never thought when I would start doing this that I would reach a moment in my life that was very, very tough and I was comforted by complete strangers. Because one of the things is, and, and I'm guilty of this, I'll admit, is when I watch TV or even some YouTubers, I kind of forget that they're people too. You know, that they have a life that they live. That this is, you know, a job for them or like me, you know, doing commentaries is a hobby. And it really doesn't define who they are as a whole. Now, the fact that you guys chimed in here and that you guys expressed your sympathies and, you know, sent the best wishes that you could uh, to me and my wife uh, is, is I don't know, it's amazing because I feel you guys don't necessarily see me in that light where I'm just somebody else. You know, it's almost like you and I have a personal relationship. And it really goes the other way too. Like, I know that, you know, I'm, I have a personal relationship with a lot of you too. Because, you know, it's one thing here on my phone, every time somebody subscribes, it goes off and then I read the name of the person here because I think that's important that none of you are strangers. Well, I can't get to know all of you. I can't add you all on my Xbox Live. I mean, it's been full for, geez, a long time. Um, you know, things like that. What I do love doing, and I was doing this the other night uh, when my wife and I were laying in bed before we were gonna go to sleep, is I was just going through my work phone, which has um, my Facebook account connected to it. And it's really cool, you know, being able to see your guys' faces and be able to kind of know what's going on in your guys' lives. Every once in a while, you know, I'll chip in, send a congratulations, because I think it'd be kind of weird if, you know, I just hop in and somebody's like, what are you doing tonight? And just kind of go over that with them. but uh, Or, like, just ask somebody random, what are you doing tonight and whatever. But uh, that being said, I mean, there is a lot uh, that I feel for you guys as well uh, as, like, a little personal level. So what I really wanted to say in this video to all of you is thank you so much. I've done a lot of videos here since I've started doing commentaries where it's been thank you videos, you know, from 
200 video, uh, 200 total videos here, or uh, 5,000 subscribers. Uh, I do say thank you to you guys a lot because I really do appreciate everything that you guys do. Stuff that I never would have expected, like comforting me when something like that was happening. Um, but in, in this video, I think I'm going to give you guys my most sincere thank you that I can possibly give. Even if you and I were standing face to face, I don't think I could still express just how grateful I am for you guys too. So, um, But to let you know, my wife and I, we are doing a lot better because after Zoe had passed and we buried her, we figured we got to go ahead and get out of the house. Um, this is not something that we want to necessarily dwell on because we're always going to miss Zoe and we're always going to remember her, but we've got to move forward with our lives. I mean, you know, if you think about it, a dog loves you to death. The dog always wants you to be happy and will do everything it can to make sure that you're happy. So if we were to sit there and dwell, it's not what Zoe would have wanted. So what we did is we, we went out, uh, we went and bought some painting supplies because we've got our house that we're going to be buying here pretty soon. And we kind of got ready for that. That was kind of nice to get out of the house. And then we uh, went out to a really nice restaurant and we just sat down we talked about Zoe and some of our best memories of her, which helped out quite a bit with everything too. Uh, we laughed a lot, you know, sure we cried just a little bit, but uh, we dwelled a lot on the happy things. And now, I mean, it's still a little hard because my days off are Mondays, uh, or one of my days off from work is Monday. So I always work out on the yard where we're living right now, try and see if, uh, you know, I can just help out. So. You know, I was working in the backyard today, and, you know, it was kind of tough being that close to Zoe and, uh, you know, not have her with us. Because after I'd mow the lawn, I'd always play catch with her. Uh, you know, I'd get a, there's a stick that's laying in the lawn that I'd always pick up and, and throw. She'd get it, bring it back. I mean, it was, I don't know, she was always fun to play fetch with, and I didn't get a chance to do it today. So, I mean, it was a little hard, but... You know, I got to walk past where we buried her and tell her I love her and I miss her and, and hi and all that stuff. But Anyway, like I said, I wanted to say thank you to you guys, let you know I am doing a lot better. And I appreciate everything that you guys uh, have said, commented, and uh, supported me and my wife with. So thank you again so much. You guys are awesome. You really are. Don't ever forget that because you've always got this guy who believes it. So, again, thank you so much. Subscribe if you haven't already, you guys. This is going to be a little bit different if this is your first video coming across here with me. But um, I'm on Facebook or Twitter, like I said earlier. I love seeing your guys' stuff on there, so feel free to follow me there. Again, thank you so much for watching and for all that you guys do. I really hope that you guys have a good one.